when you go running, the first thing you get is shoes. But here comes the question of what type of shoes do you get? So in this episode of The Better Show, we'll be showing you the different types of shoes for running. I've Brendan with me today, fitness enthusiast who loves running, to help me out. Hi Brendan! Hi Cheryl! So Brendan, do you remember when you bought your first pair of running shoes? I do. Actually, I bought those white school shoes and I thought it was enough. Wow! For me, right, I usually buy the pinkest shoes. You know, I love pink. So to me, as long as it's pink, it doesn't matter. But as I got more into running, I realised that it's actually very important to get the right pair of shoes. So, let's get cracking. So I have six pairs of shoes from A6 here and each pair is built to suit the different profiles of runners. This is the Gel Kyano 28. This is A6 uh, bread and butter shoe. As the name suggests, it's in its 28th generation, 28 years, proven track record and it's the number one shoe in the region for A6. So, I see what is this Dynamic Duo Max. Oh, so the Duo Max support system, right, it actually helps to reduce stress on the foot that's caused by overpronation. Because ASICs realise or they notice that a lot of Southeast Asian runners, we tend to overpronate when we run. So this Duo Max support system helps to give you the stability so that you don't overpronate too much. And this FF Blast? FF Blast, so FF stands for Flight Foam, which is the foam technology that ASICs has. So it's actually the cushioning in the midsole. And then they also have the gel technology. In the rear, it's to help reduce impact during heel strike. And then in the front, to help enhance shock reduction during forward movement. Mm, so who is this suitable for? Okay, so the Kayano 28 is actually good for recreational runners. Like if you want protection, you want stability, a lot of support, you want to do your easy training runs where time is not crucial, this is good for you. So this is the Gel Nimbus 23. This is the brother shoe to the Kayano and it's the number one shoe in the world for A6. Wow. Yeah, suitable for those with neutral stripe. So do you know that the Gel Nimbus and the Gel Kayano have male and female versions? I didn't know. Yeah, it's so cool, right? So basically, the women version has a higher stack height and more cushioning, softer. So it will, they have done all their studies and they realised like women and men actually run differently. So this is the Nova Blast. It's actually quite new to the A6 family. It's perfect for those who are completely new to running or just picked up running. So it's actually a very comfortable, very bouncy, a very energetic shoe. They designed it with a trampoline effect to help to propel you forward. As you get more into running and you want to take the next step to improve, you can try the Magic Speed. Magic! <laughs> so this is actually great for tempo runs and interval training. And there's one more technology, the Guide Soul technology. So this is the one that's like, is where the magic happens. So it has a three-quarter length carbon plate in here. So it's to create the rolling sensation and it also has the rocker, you see this part, the curved design. So it helps you to propel forward. So that when you run, right, your body uses less energy to stabilize you. So it'll be less fatigue after a long run. Mm, exactly. This is the Method Speed Sky. So this is like a very, very fast shoe for a lot of elites. I've seen it in the Olympic Games, the recent one. Um, this is so light that it's less than 200 grams for both the male and the female. Wow. So I see this FF Turbo is different from the rest. This is rest is FF Blast. Mm. So this FF Turbo is like the pinnacle of the FF technology. I see. So this must be a very responsive shoe with high energy return. Exactly. So it's a very fast shoe. Not bad. Shoe expert. Thank you. This is Gel Tribuco. It's a little bit different from the rest. Is this for trail? Yes, it is. So trail running right, is actually very good for you. Try to incorporate it into your regime, right? Because it uses different muscle groups and it helps to build strength for running. And if you see the sole, right, there's actually a rock protection plate inside. So that in case you like run into something sharp and it pierces through your shoe, your foot is being protected. Wow, this has been really interesting. Mm -hmm. You can see the different motion control of different shoes to suit different types of runners. But the one thing I've learned is the prettiest shoe may not be the one that's most suitable for you. So run safe, take care, bye!